All right, guys, I'm back in my happy place, the Peace River. We're all equipped with our uh, Jaws jars and we are ready for action. Look at all this gear. We are ready to go. And here's Barry. Barry's ready to go. Oh, no, Barry. He's here somewhere. Uh, and Andrew. What's up, guys? Say hi. What's up, man? Yeah, all right. You too. Woo! All right, we're out here on the river and we've just found what appears to be an alligator tooth. Is that what that is? Or a rock. It's or either an alligator tooth or a rock. It's so hard to tell. Awesome. Get it safe in your jaws jar for later identification. Yeah. All right. You think it's a frog bone? Look at that. It's got the, it's so complete. It's so, it's in such good condition, man. Great find. Awesome. I'm excited. Found half a Melodon tooth and I dropped it in the sand, but uh, it's safe. Trust me. We're going to see if we can find some more. All right, guys, we've been finding tons of cool fossils. It's freaking exciting. Um, haven't been showing you a whole lot of this stuff because I've been in the water, which means my phone can't come with me. I'm not going to be dropping my iPhone in the water. But uh, yeah, I'll show you a whole bunch of stuff that we're picking up later. And um, we're about to go swim across the creek. Uh, sw sorry, swim across the river to find a creek uh, where we hear there's some shark teeth with some more interesting color. So we're going to go give that a shot. And then I'll just kind of report back to you about what we find because I can't bring my phone because we're going swimming. All right, so I'm all soaking wet. As you can see, we just we just swam back across the river from the little creek that we were visiting here. Um, and let's just kind of see what, what these guys found. All right, so probably the find of the day right there. One of the really nice little sand tiger tooth. Good size and everything. Great find, bud. That was all this guy, all by himself. Nice. Turtle shell. You get your shark's teeth. And these guys got a lot more shark's teeth over here. These were some of the ones that we went and pulled out of the creek. You can see they're a different color, more grays and blues and tans as opposed to, and less black. These were the ones that we were sifting straight out of the gravel that were in the river. As you can see, they're a lot closer to black and they're a little bit more worn and typically a little bit more broken. So the stuff that we were finding in that little creek was in much better condition. We were pulling it straight out of fresh clay and that's usually where the good stuff is. If you can find that fresh gray clay, uh, you can find some stuff that's in better condition. Some nice turtle bones there. That's a bit of an agatized seashell or something. Uh, he, he definitely found a couple of rounds of ammunition there. Uh, plenty of really beautiful teeth, the sharks, the lemons, the tigers, the hemipristis. Very good finds today, you guys. Wait, but I need to find the one that was a tiger one. The tiger sharks. Well, there's a lemon. There's a hemi. I need the tiger shark. Here's a tiger. There you go. There you go. Beautiful. Nice one, bud. Wait. In case you were wondering why Luna is not appearing in this video, my beautiful little rock hound. The answer is because she would make fantastic alligator bait. You've got your alligator right there, staring right at us. He saw us come over here, so he stopped, but he was cruising along, and so we came to get a good look at him. That's probably at least a four-foot alligator right there, and he lives in the, in the pond right here at Pioneer Park. Um, so he wasn't in the river so much, which is nice, uh, that he just stays in his little pond, so we can see where he is. Okay, so for day one, this is what we got. I don't know how well the lighting is working here. You can see there's plenty of glass. Whenever you go to the river, guys, please make sure if you find some trash, just go ahead and pack it out with you. You can tumble that stuff, make it into this nice beach glass, or give it to someone who has a tumbler, and, or just straight up recycle it and get it out of the river. Something really cool that we found, mastodon teeth. These are just fragments, but uh, pretty freaking cool. It's evidence of a gigantic mastodon. There's another piece. We found a few of the pieces like that today in the big gravel bar and we found all these teeth really great the black ones are the ones that are more in the river i think that have been in the river longer and then the ones with the more color like these ones the, with the browns and the tans and the grays and the blues those ones have been in the creek a little bit longer before they got into the river um we actually found these in the creek so they never made it into the river those are the ones in the little creek that we went and explored. There's a, a nice little spot. Something I thought was impressive was this. That's the smallest shark tooth I think I've ever seen. And I was looking down through some, some clear creek water. And there it was, sitting on top of the sand. And I had to be really careful to reach down in there and pinch it like that. 
So that's pretty cool. Super duper micro tooth. Kind of neat. Lots and lots of other teeth. Uh, here's a pile of turtle bones. You can see that's like the shell there. You know, pretty much all just shell pieces. This would have been the edge of the shell, which is kind of cool. I like the edge ones better. A lot of sand dollar bits. A lot of sand dollar bits on the on the on the banks there on the in the gravel. Let's see there. Got some good stuff going on. This was a notable stingray mouth plate. I don't think I've ever seen one that big. Kind of cool. Kind of kind of cool. Lots and lots of mouth plates. There's another stingray mouth plate. It's kind of in decent condition. Kind of for a river. Uh, up the up the creek, we found more brown stingray barbs, or uh, mouth plates, not barbs. Uh, here's a couple. Here's a barb. I don't know if you guys have seen that. Uh, my short. Check out the short for the stingray barb I found in, in Melbourne. That thing is museum grade and really cool compared to that one. Uh, that's probably a piece of tusk. This is my random bones pile. Made sure to use our shark caddies. Those were came in super handy today. Um, you know, you're walking around, especially when you're going for a swim and you got nothing. You don't want to be putting stuff in your pockets. It'll just disappear. But super micro tooth. It was super nice to be able to throw it right into my jaws jar. And I can just not have to worry about it for the rest of the day. Um, one thing I like to find is marbles. I found one of those. It got me all excited. So yeah, guys, that's, that's just a, a typical day on the Peace River uh, here at Pioneer Park. It's nice and mellow. And tomorrow we're gonna go on another canoe trip with a with our guide Fred and and Paleo Discoveries and and he's gonna show us show us a, another spot and we're gonna go check that out and see if we can find anything cool there. Here's my half mag. Yeah, and and this one looks like an alligator tooth. Nice. I don't know. Hey, if you guys think I'm misidentifying anything, I definitely want to hear all about it in the comments. Whatever I'm missing, tell me the time marker and what it is and how I've messed it up. I want to hear it. So we've got tigers, lemons, bulls. That's a bull shark. That's a lemon shark. There's a hemi, hemi priestess teeth there. This one's kind of cool. It was a little busted up, but it's cool. I like the serrations. We even found some cow shark. Uh, at least one possible cow shark tooth today. There you go. That's a pretty perfect hemi. That'll be a nice pendant, I think. Um, you know, keep a look out for stuff like that. Piece of a skull, maybe. A piece of a scoot. Who knows? So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, we'll see what happens tomorrow, guys. Stay tuned. All right. So, that was the Peace River, guys. And there's going to be another day of footage. So, stay tuned for that video probably next week. There's my brother, Danny. He's helping me out with today's rock swap. We're with the Wakaiva Gem and Mineral uh, Club rock swap here in Apopka. Uh, this is a pretty great show. Everyone's having a lot of fun. Everybody's great people. We're having a pretty decent flow of traffic. So we're having a lot of fun at this show. Make sure to go check out your local uh, Gem and Mineral Club, guys. And check out uh, to see if you can find any local gem clubs or gem shows that are near you. Gem shows or gem club. Uh, and, you know, uh, it's, it's pretty great. There's, there's a lot of really interesting people doing a lot of great events. And, you know, um, it, it's pretty great. It's a great way to support your local miners. And, 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 and Rock Hounds, you can find a lot of really cool vendors. A lot of different vendors do a lot of different things. So, you know, make sure that you're asking where your stuff is coming from. And, and, and you know, doing your basic due diligence. Um, and, and, and guys, just have a great time out there, you know. Hit up the Peace River soon. There's still little tiny shark teeth to be had all over the place. There's plenty of other cool fossils popping out every day. So it's still there. Don't dig in the banks. Um, that's going to get us in trouble. Uh, and just have a great time, guys. Uh, follow us at Love and Stone Creations uh, on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook all day long. We'll see you.